Hello guys, it's DB Grinder here back at it again with another video. And this time it's just gonna be an Altergeist deck profile. And I know I said I don't really do deck profiles on this channel, but I don't know, I just felt like it was time to do a deck profile. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna show off many deck profiles. Uh, I just felt like this was like a cool one to show off, an interesting one, a little bit different than most people play it. Uh, you can probably already see that. I already know half of you guys just screenshotted and clicked off the video, so if you're still here, bet, and let's hop right in. So first of all, uh, I'm rocking 3 Ash, 3 Valor, 3 Nib, 3 Imperm, and 2 Moonlit as my hand traps. So there's 14 hand traps. Uh, if your list is playing like 6 hand traps in Geist, I don't know how you're winning, because your opponent just normal summons Jet and you've already took the L. Um, if you're not playing a good amount of hand traps, like, if you're playing, like, 10 or 11, uh, like, maybe, maybe it's enough. I don't think so. I personally like more hand traps. The deck has the room for it, so why not play them? Um, also, you need them to beat Rock or Adamant Scepter. Uh, that deck just, I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, it shits on this deck. Like, hard. If they put up, like, Two, if they put up two negates first turn, this deck just can't out two negates. It, it really is that simple. It's a hand trap format. You got to play hand traps. Also, people might be like, oh, why are you playing Nib over Ogre? Because I've seen a lot of people starting to play Ogre this format. Because uh, Nib's a blowout. Also, if you summon Nib, like they go first, you summon Nib, it's better than Ogre. And, uh, like, against Geist. Like, you don't, like, I guess, like, the mirror match is a thing now, uh, but I mean, your deck isn't prepared for the mirror match game one. It's, it really is just simple as that, and Nib isn't terrible against Geist now, because the Link Ross play, uh, but I do think it's better than Ogre, like, I, I really do. I considered playing one Ogre, because Needle Fiber, like, you can Needle Fiber bring out Ogre, and then Ogre them next turn, like, with it on board, but that play just, it never came up when I tried it. Uh, so, and also, Imperm Faker is nuts. Uh, next is 3 Mel you seek. You gotta play 3, so it's a starter. Uh, 2 Silk. Uh, again, I tried cutting this down to 1. I try it every time I rebuild Geist in a new format. And this format, you just, you really cannot do it. Because Eldlish, uh, I don't know if you guys know what Wakero is. But that card says DD Crow. And if you get your Silk DD Crowed, you are so behind against a deck that can grind so well. Uh, next, you got 3 Faker. Obviously, I mean, the card just went to 3. You gotta play 3 of it. And I put these in, like, level 1, level 2, level 3 order. Just because that's how I always did it when I was, like, building the deck in real life. Uh, 2 Marionetter. Honestly, uh, I want to cut down on... Geist cards because they're the worst cards in the deck. I know it's weird to say because it like it's a Geist deck, but they really are just the worst cards in the deck. Uh, like Marionette is the worst starter card because it's not a starter. Like it, it sets a trap from deck, but that's all it does. Like if you don't have Spoofing or Faker with it, then it's just like one negate in the form of a trap card to where like a hand trap would just be better. Also, you only need two for grinding. Uh, I haven't had a scenario where the third one has came up. I've had a scenario where Faker needed to summon another monster. Uh, but I still ended up winning that game anyways because Selene's OP. Uh, but you don't need three Marionette. Uh, and then one Konkiri. Uh, again, I tried cutting this card. Uh, just because it's, it's kind of ass, but it's kind of the nuts at the same time. And I really do feel like it's needed. Because Lord 3500 poke, like, you gotta be able to stop that uh, without Silk Bouncing. Because if you Silk Bounce Lord, then they're just gonna Lord send something and then uh, try to combo you in main phase 2. And this helps stopping that. And also, you get a lot of free searches now, so this is good. Uh, and then for my spells, one for one. Uh, I, I can't believe people aren't playing this, to be honest. This is, like, one of the best spells in the deck. Honestly... I'd rather draw one for one over extravagance half the time. Just because this brings out Mel you Seek, and that's your engine. And then you brought out a Mel you Seek without normal summoning. So now you can do so many different plays. And you can attack, 
If they stop it, you can surge. Still normal. It this card's nuts, especially because you're playing a lot of monsters in this build. Um, then three extravagance. I mean, it it's really pot of greed in this deck. And then for the traps, one protocol. You do not need two. Who is ever playing two is just wrong. Okay. Uh, going second, you don't want to draw it. Going first, you don't really want to draw it. Like it, it's it's a trap. It's best effect really is that you guys can't be negated. Like, that's the only reason why you'd want to draw it. It's definitely like, Faker can't get ashed. Um, but I, I don't I don't know. This card isn't needed at two. Uh, Cosmic is kind of popular, kind of not popular right now. I've seen, I'm seeing more Lightning Storms than, like, anything for the back row-wise. Uh, and also, this build doesn't play as many trap cards as the other decks. So... Uh, as the other guys list, I should say. So it doesn't lose the lightning storm as bad. And then one manifestation. Um, obviously, you have to play one of this card. I uh, wouldn't play two, though. Again, same thing as the protocol. You don't want to draw it going first or second. You want to be searching these cards, setting these cards from deck. Uh, drawing them is, like, decent at best. Decent at best. Uh, and then three spoofing. Uh, it's a starter. And then after you get started, you can use it to add Konkiri, or do like Konkiri loot. Uh, three Compulse. It was either Compulse or Torrential Tribute. And I was just, every time, like I had Compulse or TT, I was just loving Compulse so much more. It also lets you do some funky plays. Like you can bounce Faker, use Faker effect. You can bounce your own Nib and then summon Nib. So those are like funky plays with it that don't come up all the time, but can come up. Uh, also, I just want something that like during their, like if I pass turn, I don't want them to be able to just like attack for game. I want to be able to like activate Compulse and then summon Faker, which I know is like a little weird since the next trap is Strike and it wouldn't work for that exact same scenario. But then it was also like, Compulse, TT, and Strike were like the traps. Like, I narrowed it down to after testing for a couple hours. I grounded this deck for a couple hours. I don't even know how many hours it was. And then I played it uh, with some testing people. And I definitely don't think this deck's the best deck, by the way. I don't even think it's in the top three. But I think it's a fun deck. And then, uh, so this was like the second, this was the strike and compulse for this first and second best trap. And then TT was the third. And I'm not showing the side deck, by the way. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I just got some hidden spice up in there. I don't want to be showing off, you know. Uh, also, if you YGO scope my matches, you won't find it either. Because for my deck that I use for grinding rated, I don't have them in there either. So I, I know people be YGO scoping me and trying to see the spice before I release it. But... You ain't gonna catch me slacking, so it's not there. Uh, and then extra deck, three hex D up, obviously. Uh, two link cross. I wanted more than one, just because uh, even though like you're playing two, it can extravagance. Like if you play one, extravagance can just rip the one out. Uh, and if you have hex D on board, it's really good to make link cross and then get your hex D a search. You pretty much mill you seek, add faker, and then hex D add manifestation. Uh, and you have your entire engine going, and it's hard to lose from there. Uh, and then Prime Banshee, uh, you gotta play one of it. If you extravagance banish it, like, oh, oh well. You're not gonna see extravagance every game, obviously. Uh, also, this card uh, is good for going for the access code talker play. Uh, I have a video from, like, God, it's probably from, like, seven months ago now, or six months ago now. Uh, where I showed an Altergeist combo, and uh, instead of going for Appalooza like you used to, or Bomber, now you can go for Access Code Talker, uh, and then just pop their cards. So that's a, like another play that I've been doing. Uh, and then two Link Karibo. I'm not playing the Relinquished, because that's only good versus bad players, uh, and that that is 100% true. All right, and it's also good versus Salad, but, I mean... Come on. Uh, it's salad. Um, so that, that's why two link Karibo. I don't, I don't even think you need three. Uh, some of the times when you go first, you don't even link Mel you seek into link Karibo. 
just because a lot of people are running Phantasmi again. And if you get Phantasmi, it sucks. It really does put you behind. Uh, and then one needle fiber. Uh, if, uh, if you ever get in like a weird scenario, or you have like nib and a hand trap, silk and a hand trap, uh, you could go on the needle fiber, and then you have a couple of different line of plays you could do. You could go needle fiber, bring out Valor, and then go for Selene. But you have to be playing against a deck that has spells to do that play. Um, because, I mean, you're only running four, so you're probably not even going to see one every game. Uh, so, that's why, like, that play, it, that play just doesn't come up all the time. Uh, but also, Selene is just good in this deck. Uh, you don't have to do Needle Fiber play to go into it. It just takes two monsters, including a Spellcaster, and all the Geist are Spellcasters. So you can use this to start reborning stuff. Like, using that, you could reborn, uh, Konkiri, uh, to negate something, bring back Silk. Uh, during their turn, you can bring back Faker and then trigger Faker. Uh, an Access Code Talker, again, like, you could do that little line of play right there. And this is like the little spice right here. I'm playing a Formula, Metal, Blocker, and the Mech and Phantom Beast Link. Um, so like the extra deck, there was a Salomon Gray Amirage in here. Card just never came up. There was the Relinquished in here. Card just never came up. Uh... Then there was Appaloosa in here, card just never came up. There was another Prime Banshee. This card just, it was coming up, but not enough for me to want to run two of it. Uh, especially when there's better extra deck options. Uh, and then like also if your Needle Fiber gets negated, you can tag out in the Formula or Metal. Uh, but that, that play doesn't really come up. But you can Needle... And then uh, bring out Valor, and then you turn Needle into Link Cross, and then now you have uh, Link Cross, two tokens, and Valor, and then you turn Valor and a token, and the formula, you draw one, and drawing one in this deck is huge. Uh, and then you get rid of Formula and the token, bring out Metal, Metal Effect, bring back Formula, get rid of Formula and link cross or metal and link cross doesn't matter uh, and then make blocker and then get rid of one of the synchros and blocker to make the mech and phantom beast you bring out three tokens you can either use the first effect to destroy a card or the third effect to add back a trap from grave to hand uh, i mean like you're playing like actual trap cards in this deck like compulse strike uh, you can add back imperm even spoofing uh, the plays came up a couple times uh, to where, like, I could make the play. I don't always make it. Game one, I would not suggest making the play. Uh, again, you don't want to be playing in the hand traps. Uh, like, the people that were commenting on my video that were saying, like, oh, like, Foolish Burial is good because you can send, like, Seek and then Marionette or bring it back. That is, like, a two-card combo with a one-of, uh, which is not good. And then they were telling me that, like, you can send Jet. But one good thing about this deck is that it doesn't lose to the hand traps of the meta uh, as hard as other decks do. And if you make this deck a straight combo deck, then you're going to lose to the same hand traps that combo loses to, if that makes sense. Uh, pretty much, is, like, the third effect of this is just nuts. Add a trap from grave to hand. Uh, it also helps, like, post side decking. You can add the traps back to hand. Um... Whatever traps you decide to end up playing. I mean, you could play, like, Summon Limit and all that. They out-summon limit. You say, okay, add it back. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about this too much. Holy, it's already been a 14-minute long video. I promise I didn't try making this over 10 minutes just for ads. Uh, I'm not even going to add ads into the middle of the video. Uh, just because I don't... I hate it when I'm watching a video like this, like a deck profile. And then a boom, ad pops up. Uh, so I'm not gonna add it there. You gotta add the ad there. I don't know. I'm dumb. But I really do think this is a solid guys list. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, don't tell me to play bad cards because I'm not gonna play them. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bring up examples because I'll be. Uh, it'll pretty much just be me calling people out. But I don't know. I think this list is pretty solid. Also, you can one for one out Valor. Too. Like, you can bring out Melusique, but you can also bring out Valor. That's another thing. And then you can go into the Needle Fiber plays. 
our uh, needle fiber plays and the Celine plays or into the Mech and Phantom Beast plays. But uh, you guys can do whatever you want with this list. I mean, use it and rate it. Don't use it and rate it. I don't think it's a solid deck. Like in the top three, definitely don't think it's in the top three. It's a it's an actual trap deck. Uh, traps are bad. Uh, but besides uh, the DB grinder, signing off. Peace.